Guys, my tire ripped and popped in the middle of the road. Guys, you're not gonna believe what just happened. So it is the next day, next morning of putting on my lights and I was coming down to go to work and I hear something and I thought it was my bumper support that was like loose yesterday, but I fixed it, but I just thought like it didn't go on. And I pull over and nope, this is what I got. So here I am going to change this. Oh my goodness. This is... <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, everybody. looking <laughs> look at that this is so funny so now i'm gonna attempt to drive on this and get to work safely and then i'll probably go get a new tire but oh my gosh i can't believe this had to happen it is eight o'clock now i should have been getting there by now so why this is too funny The sprinklers went off on my car. Look at this. What a day. You guys, I am finally doing something that has been needing to get done for so long. It is finally happening today. I'm going to be taking my wheels finally to go get powder coated and all fixed up. And they're gonna look so good. I'm so excited. This definitely has to have happened like sooner, but I lagged on it. Of course, like what's new? <laughs> my wheels look pretty messed up right now. And I don't even think you guys like can even tell when like I post a video or whatever, but they look really bad Over time they have just like lost its paint because they are originally bronze So they are peeling really bad and it just looks bad I just want to go get them powder coated and they're gonna look so good. I am keeping them white so Yeah, and I also finally got some new tires because as you guys saw in the beginning I don't even think I explained because I was in such a rush like I was on my way to work and Randomly I heard something pop but I had just put on my new bumper when that happened So I thought it was something from the bumper came off or maybe the bumper support because when I was changing my headlights I did notice that my bumper support kind of ripped and like Got messed up when I crashed so I thought it was my bumper support so I was like what the heck didn't like that wasn't my first reaction so i was just like okay i'm gonna go slow i was driving with my hazards on and then i pulled over to the first street because i was going over this little hill and i was like okay i'm just gonna pull over in the first street and just check it out and i saw nothing under the bumper was fully intact so i was so confused i was like what the heck happened so i went and i looked at my tires and that is what i saw i was like oh my gosh but I did have my camera with me, so I was like, I'm gonna film this. So that that is the little section that you see in the beginning. So I definitely need to get rid of them ASAP, and that is going to happen 
finally i'm so excited so i am gonna have to fit my tires in here and i am going back on my stocks today my stocks are sitting over there looking at me they're ready to go on but i want to show you guys how bad my wheels actually are like they i feel like i never show them because they are so gross this is one there's another one that's really really bad it's just like you can see where the bronze is coming out and they're just like filthy and with powder coating it's gonna make it so much easier to clean this one is really bad you can tell where the bronze is coming out <laughs> only so this is this one so dirty as well oh my gosh and here's this one it's just chipping so bad and yeah it's just so gross I don't know, I'm just excited, like, they're gonna look so good afterwards, and they're gonna be so much easier to clean as well. I'm just tired of seeing this. So I am going to be putting back my socks, and then I'm gonna show you guys the tires that I went with. So now I'm just going to do the rest of the wheels and I will get back to you guys afterwards. The car is looking like with these. Wow. This looks so weird. So I changed my shirt because I got really dirty, but I got the wheels all in here. And I am about to head to Bulletproof Coating, and that is where I'm going to take them. I don't know if I'm going to vlog there, or I'm just going to like drop them off really quick and then leave, but I'm not taking the tires with me. I'm probably just going to take them another day. I'm going to ask them when I do drop these off and see if I can just leave my new ones with them. But I didn't think it through. I was like, where am I going to fit them? I don't know why I thought I had some like monster truck of a car to fit both of them. I'm going to have to go another day and just take my tires separately. But either way, they have to work on these for now. And then comes the tires, obviously. Might as well that I'm here, like tell you guys what tires I went. Um, I do have them outside, so I'll just show you guys when I do take them. But I did end up going with the Achilles ATR Sport 2s. And I did stick to the same size that these are. So these are 225s, 40, 18s all around. So it is a squared setup. And I don't know. I just really like this size. I just stuck with that one. And I didn't go lower because I didn't want to run any more stretch. I saw really good reviews of them. So, you know, it's just like some tires that aren't going to break the bank and aren't the worst. So those are the ones I'm going to get for now. If I ever plan on doing anything like other than daily driving then obviously i will invest in some better tires but for now i think these are gonna be good i'm just gonna head out and then i will update you guys either when they're done i don't really know the turnaround show you guys when i have them i'll show you guys when i drop off the tires and show you all that good stuff but yeah just got here bulletproof coating there are my wheels guys They're a little dirty, but oh my god, they're so glossy. Guys, I just picked up my wheels. Oh my goodness, they look so freaking good. I think they're a little bit dirty from when they were touching them. Okay, let me put some flash up in here. I'll definitely show you guys in the daytime, but they feel so good too. Like, I'm so excited. They're so glossy and I love it. Thank you to Bulletproof Coating. They did such a good job. Let me show you the beautifulness that they are now. Do you guys see the difference? Like, they are so glossy and so nice. I gave it a quick wipe down and literally so easy to clean. Like, I am so mad at myself that I didn't do this quicker. And it's like... The only thing they were not able to do were my center caps because they are plastic so you can't really powder coat that. That is the only thing that's like still spray painted basically but I think I am going to switch out my center caps soon so hopefully I'll do that and if not and if I do keep them white then I'm 
probably just gonna take them off and just spray paint them and then put like a good top coat or something. This is what we're looking like. Brand new tires looking good. This literally is like so smooth, you have no idea. Girls are looking so much better. I'm in love. It is seven in the morning right now. You know when I'm up this early on the weekend, it means that there's a cars and coffee. So today I'm actually going, I think it's OC South Cars and Coffee, honestly. I'm not sure what it's called 100%, but it's the one that are at the San Clemente outlets. And I've never been to this one, so I'm excited to go see how it is and all the cars. I might not drive my car though all the way just because like, I don't know. So I am not going to drive my car. I got some McDonald's because I'm starving and we're still here. There's actually a lot, like a lot of people. I was outside, but I'm freezing cold. So I'm back inside. We're leaving at eight and it's currently 7.55. I just want to go so I can eat my McDonald's in peace. And I'm hitching a ride. <laughs> Cause I really don't want to drive. Even though I really want to like cruise with everyone and you know, like drive my own car, but there will be other times. Beach. There's a doggy. 